Hi lovelies, how's everybody doing today? Today is Thursday. I have been so super busy, but I'm here checking in with you guys. Thank you, first of all, for all your wonderful and amazing comments. You guys make me feel so good. I think this YouTube commu community is so amazing and has such great support with each other. And I look forward to seeing you guys and talking to you guys and watching your videos and just supporting each other. It's really cool. Hey, Elijah, can you turn that down just a little bit, please? Thank you. Anyway, so I'm going to come in at you with stats real quick. Um, I started my journey at 220 and rolling down the spiral down the hill of being very unhealthy and sick. And... I knew I was going in a bad path, so I decided to finally, after 15 years, finally after taking care of it um, this way with weight loss surgery. I had my weight loss surgery in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Elias Ortiz in, uh, at the Me Hospital at, through alighterme.com. Uh, amazing experience, very good doctors, very professional. It was at a hospital, you guys, so people like, or won't freak out that oh my god you have surgery in Tijuana Mexico yes surgery happens all the time in Tijuana Mexico and FYI you guys botch doesn't only happen in Mexico it happens in the United States too I've seen some severe cases so it could happen anywhere so don't freak out if you hear me say I got my surgery at Tijuana Mexico I did my research I knew where I was going and I talked to people who've had the surgery there before so I was good with it made that decision I started at 220 and my surgery weight was 208 uh, I am down to about 155 now I have not taken look at this I'm breaking out guys this is ridiculous I'm breaking out everywhere anyway I could see myself in the camera so I'm like staring at my deep my faults on my face anyway um, uh, uh, I had what was I saying oh I haven't weighed myself today so Every time I get on the scale, you know, on this, the non-digital scale, it's never right compared to the scale that I use. I usually use a digital scale. So I will check tomorrow what my original weight is. Um, I have been adding a little bit more carbs today. I don't eat carbs. I really don't eat a lot of carbs, but today I added a little bit more. I hope that doesn't hurt me, but, you know, if it does, I know how to fix it. So, um, anyhow, oh, guess what? Non-scale victory. I am down to a size freaking eight, guys. Size eight pants. What? I haven't been size eight since right after high school. I mean, it's been almost 20 years. Almost. That just shows how old I am. Anyway, um, I was at a size 10 two weeks ago and then all of a sudden I dropped down to a size 8. So even though I am kind of in a stall because I've been at 155 for over a week, two weeks maybe, I've been in a stall, I'm still losing the inches, which is amazing. So um, I tried on my first pair of 8s and they fit comfortably. They weren't too snug. They were comfortable. So now all my size 12s are too loose. And I want to give all these clothes away that I have because I invested in these and now what am I going to do with them? So size 8, so when I go shopping, I'm, I'm shopping for a medium and a size 8. Guys, you don't know how good this feels unless you're there. If you're there, you know. Wait till you get there. It makes you feel amazing. And it's just been so overwhelming for me. Um... I feel amazing. It's not just about the pounds and being skinny for me, guys. I want, I want you to know that. My health is important. I want to be healthy for my children. And uh, I want to be healthy for Elijah, my youngest, going through stage 4 cancer. So I could be there for him in time of his need instead of feeling so disgusting and gross and sick and blah. So... My health is, I've been feeling absolutely amazing. So I haven't been, you know, there's been a couple of times where I've been really tired, but it's not like all the time. 
I haven't felt sick. I haven't felt like it's the end of the world every day. And so my mood is better. Um, I don't feel like I'm suffering through depression at the moment. You know, I'm not on antidepressants anymore. Uh, my labs look absolutely amazing. I actually had low deficiency on vitamin D. So um, we have to pick up the vitamin D intake. So they prescribed in me very high doses of vitamin D uh, complex and I have to take them every Saturday. And then once that was done, I take regular vitamin D complex um, over the counter. Um, they gave me two doses. I mean like two bottles worth. They were only for two months. So four in each bottle. Anyhow, so I have to fix some of the vitamins. I am taking my vitamins. Um, some been eating some pretty yummy foods. I have been chowing down on all sorts of protein based foods, whether it's um, chicken salad to tacos without the taco part. You know, I'll put the meat and cheese all together. It's kind of like a taco salad. Um, I've been eating shrimp. I've been eating food, high protein based food. And I've just been indulging in food and I've been loving it and of course I can only eat about that much but still it's delicious so I know when I get full I get this feeling in my esophagus where it feels like it's gonna start coming back up that's a sign that's full not only do I burp or hiccup but I get that sign like right here and right in here like I can't like fit any more in if I try it'll just come right back up so almost kind of like fur furthing is that how you say it furthing the furthing is kind of like foam coming back up it's almost like that but it's not so anyhow uh, what else is there what did I want to talk about I do have a Facebook group if you are a youtuber only because I only want youtubers in there no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, that's not true because there are people in there that are not YouTubers that watch our YouTube videos, so I can't say that. If Okay, here it is. If you are only a YouTuber and only a weight loss surgery patient, you're allowed in that group. So make sure you click on the descriptions down below. I will make sure I'll have the descriptions down below. You are allowed in that group. We do not judge people on what they eat or drink. Uh, we're very supportive in there. I make sure that that stays very clean and not a non-judgmental group and come over there if you're a weight loss surgery patient and um, join in that group I actually love our group our group is amazing we've got some amazing people in there and people are just so cool uh, shout out to a couple people um, shout out to Amy Amy you are rocking it Amy killing it <laughs> I say you're rocking it, but your name is killing it. Uh, and then, of course, my sleep sister, sleep to 14. Whoa, whoa. Love you, girl. You are rocking it. Every time I see your pictures, I'm like, that's not sleep for tank. Dude, she's changing right before our eyes. She's awesome. And then, um, there's quite a few people I didn't write them down this time. I love every single one of you that watch my videos that I'm talking to in the group. You guys are all amazing and awesome. And shout out to every single one of you. I will write down all of your names that I love. <laughs> I will write down all your names next time. I promise. So I can give a shout out to you and make sure other people go to your channels as well. So, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, we will see you all next Thursday. I am still doing the the Fat Dad, Fat Kid Challenge. Um, I'm just not recording it until I get back home with my husband because it's much more fun to do it with my husband. Otherwise, I'm boring exercising on video all the time. That would be like, yawn. Who wants to watch this? So when I get back home, we'll record it. So we will... Mm -mm, no. We will see you all next Thursday. Love you, or maybe when I start up with my challenge again. Ciao. Bye.